So I'm probably a little crazy because I just bought 35,000 9mm bullets. Well, mostly. We'll get to that a little bit later. So if you do the math on that at 125 grains per bullet, that's about 650 pounds that I got to carry. So there's 10 boxes, so that's about 65 pounds per box. Luckily for me, I happened to wrap a gift in concrete earlier this year and it weighed 125 pounds or something like that. So I already got a nice dolly from Harbor Freight. I just can't imagine being the poor mailman. Could you imagine he gets to work that morning and he's like, uh, all of his friends are just laughing at him because they know that he got the truck with 650 pounds of bullets. So you know these things don't look too heavy? They are 65 pounds a piece. So that'll kill your back if you're not careful. They even have this sticker on it that says caution, heavy. 35 pounds and over. Yeah, try like 60 pounds and over. This thing is dang heavy. I mean, even to get it up, I gotta like put my whole weight into it. I'll show you here, but these tires, they're, they're inflated properly, but they're really squished. So that makes 325 pounds on this poor little dolly from Harbor Freight. But it's holding up like a champ. Check out how squished these wheels get too when I put all the weight on it. Poor wheels. These are heavy, by the way. You know, I bet you the mailman got home and he had one heck of a story to tell his family. Like, guys, you're not going to believe the packages I had to carry in today. But before you guys go thinking that I'm a lousy human being and I just let the mailman hang out to dry, hauling all these heavy packages in, no, I let him use this and we wrote him this nice fancy message. Dear mailman, I apologize that I forgot to tell you that my husband bought 650 pounds of metal and sent it through the mail. Please make sure to use a dolly so it will be easier. I'm sorry. Please take whatever treats you would like. Thank you. P.S. If you knock, I'll open our garage so we can put it in there. I also told my wife to offer the poor mailman a tip too, um, but he, he was just fine with the snacks, so yeah, that's fine. So I bet you there's a lot of people being on the internet and just the haters that are out there are going to be like, Josh, you are the sole source of the bullet shortage in 2020. Well, before you go judging, send you, sending me hate letters and hate comments and stuff like that, I'm going to open these up and then you'll see what's actually inside. So let's open one of these bad boys up that you don't hate me for the rest of ever that I stole all your nine millimeter ammo because I didn't. A, bullets, a bullet is not the full cartridge, primer, and everything already assembled, ready to go. So for all of you that don't reload, this wouldn't affect you at all anyway. Okay, so we're gonna open this guy up. Of course I double packaged because I didn't trust the packaging as it was, so I'm gonna open this. I wouldn't either if I was sending this to the mail. And you see, oh, what's that? What the heck? What is that? That ain't no bullet you recognize. Yeah, that's because it's not exactly a bullet quite yet. So yes, these will become 35,000 nine millimeter bullets, but as of right now, they are not bullets, which is a real bummer. So I get to spend some quality time with my lead pot, freezing my butt off in my garage, and then they will become these. Nine millimeter bullets, 35,000 of them, ready to go. Also disclaimer, I'm not only gonna make nine millimeter bullets out of these, I'm gonna reload 380, I'm gonna reload 45 auto, which is a heavier bullet, so I'll get a lot less out of them. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna have plenty of bullets. So I hope you guys like all my bullets that aren't quite bullets yet, and thanks for watching. Good luck finding ammo these days.